Hey guys, it's Greg at Gentle Giant. How's it going? Uh, I am here on the floor of San Diego Comic Con. We're about T minus three hours before the floor opens for preview night, and I thought I'd give y'all, since you can't be here, uh, a sneak preview of everything that we've got going on display in the booth. So, without further ado, let me go on ahead and give you a fast walkthrough here. Uh, first and foremost, did we mention that we got the Walking Dead license? Well, we got the Walking Dead license, and not only is this going to be statues and minibus, but we're actually branching out to something brand new for us. Zombie Army Men. Now, I know that the case is a little backlit, so it's kind of tough to see, um, but, you know, we'll be sending some, we'll be posting some close-up pictures later, but these are a variety of colors, brown and green and gray. They are all zombies, and they are all to scale with the traditional army figures. Um, now, let me go on ahead and show you what else we got coming up here. Our glorious 12-inch Kenner line is going to continue on uh, into the next year. Here we have our Gamorrean Guard, PGM exclusive this year. Uh, the C6 exclusive Lando Calrissian 12-inch figure for, you know, since the show is going to be in Orlando. But I'm nice one, Ash. Uh, and let's see here. We got our blue snags and our red snags. And, you know, you've seen some of the other stuff, but look what it's sitting upon. Yes, that is a scaled-up um, Cantina playset, and we are going to be releasing the Cantina playset. Should be around the end of the year. So, yes, you can have your own diorama for your Kenner figures, too. Just like it was back in the old days. Now, our upcoming, some of our upcoming Hobbit minibus. I'm so excited to finally get to show these. Uh, here's our Thorin minibus. This is the Comic-Con exclusive. And you can actually see in the back of our booth right now, but let's just ignore that. Um, this is our PGM exclusive Dwalin minibus. You guys finally get to see him. We'll have pictures on our website shortly if he's not live already. It's a great looking piece. Seriously, the details on it's sick. Our Gandalf minibus. Very excited about this one. He almost didn't make the show, but our guys got him through paint, and he's looking fantastic. Very excited about him. And our Gollum mini bust. Now, we are going to have more stuff in this line. This is all that we were authorized to show off at this point. Um, you know, but, you know, expect the, the floodgates to open as soon as the movie comes out. Now, moving over here, you all have seen the Sucker Punch Samurai statue. Now, I realize that the, uh, the base here has been cut. That's only because we had to fit him into the case. So don't worry about that. Uh, gorgeous piece. Absolutely freaking -lutely humongous. And really, really exciting. Cosplayers can rejoice because we are actually going to be offering a replica Kings County, King County Sheriff badge and Grimes nameplate. Uh, this is a fantastic uh, new uh, line of accessories that we're going to hopefully be branching into. And I think it'll be a really, really fun thing for people to start collecting and picking up. Uh, we're looking to see what else we could do with this, but I think the badge and the nameplate are awesome ways to start. The Wellwalker mini bust is one of the first busts that we'll be offering in the Walking Dead line awesome. Disgustingly awesome piece. Uh, emphasis on the disgusting. And Walking Dead bookends. Take a look at those bad boys. If you ever needed a hand holding up your books, well, you got it now. Moving over here into the next case, our Year 7 Harry Potter, Deathly Hallows mini bust. He'll be coming out by the end of the year. He should be. Mars Tax Ornaments, that's the, uh, the Alien Invader and the Trading Card Style Ornaments. Both really, really fun pieces, and like I said, sort of a new initiative for us. Oh, you can see Dev's reflection in the background here. Wave hi, Dev. Hey, I was just checking out the Yuki 7 piece, I think it's pretty cool. Oh, the Yuki 7 piece by Kevin Dart, right? Yeah, yeah, he's the guy who helped with that honey trap stuff. Oh, that, we'll get to that in a minute. All right. Yeah. So this actually is a piece that we did for Kevin Dart. He's a very famous artist, and we are excited to be working with him on something I'm going to show you guys in just a couple of minutes. Uh, and then, here we go, our Premier Guild exclusive uh, Voldemort mini bust. Look at that piece right there. He's a little, little bright from what I could tell. Let me see if I get the focus right for you. But yeah, gorgeous, gorgeous piece. Great way to cap off the Harry Potter line, I think. Alright, now here comes the fun window. This is what we've got on sale here at the show. Our Admiral Mahdi mini bust, as you can see. And actually, each one comes with an autographed COA. Uh, even, you know, and I actually watched as Richard uh, signed most of these busts. We got a little bit of a video clip of him signing on our uh, website. Just look on the product page for this. Uh, even better, Richard will be here 
signing the busts, the boxes, etc., at our booth a couple of times during the show. You can check our schedule. If you're in the area, you can check our schedule and see uh, when he's going to be here. We have our Kenner Blue Snags piece, which is gorgeous and huge. This is actually what it comes in right here. This uh, packaging here, that's the blue, uh, the blue sleeve. He comes in that, and then there's like actually a white slip box that goes over the, uh, the figure cover. So it really is, um, we tried to keep it pretty authentic uh, to the original. Up here's our uh, limited edition Mars Tax mini bus. This is the only mini bus we'll be doing in the Mars Tax line. And it is here at Comic Con. There's only 550 of them. It is awesome, and it is in honor of the 50th anniversary of Mars Attacks. I got the Deluxe Macquarie Stormtrooper mini bust. We continue our fine tradition of Macquarie busts at Comic Con every year. This is the latest proud addition to this line. I think it's an awesome piece. I think it looks fantastic. It's fun. You can interchange in with the shield. Uh, it's got interchangeable heads, armed with a lightsaber blade. Uh, awesome stuff. Here's our Thorn bust again. Just so you know, he's an addition of five hundred and seventy dollars. Uh, our Thanos mini bust. This is comic book Thanos. And he comes complete with the infamous Infinity Gauntlet. And then from the Bridge Direct, our neighbors, they actually have, uh, we share a wall with them. We're going to be selling their exclusives here at our booth. This is the Invisible Bilbo action figure from their Hobbit line. And I think it's a pretty sweet piece. Um, it is pretty darn cool if I do say so myself. We have the Blade Reaper Blu-ray collector set of Blade 2. And uh, Mr. Guillermo del Toro himself will be signing at our booth on Friday. He'll be autographing these. And these. This is the Pale Man statue, yet another exclusive of ours. Only 300 made. And uh, both Guillermo and Doug Jones will be here signing that. Uh, so check the schedule for when they're going to be around. Our last exclusive that will be for sale here at the booth is uh, the Bridge Direct's Annoying Orange, which is a pretty awesome uh, piece. It talks. And the creator of the Annoying Orange will be signing at our booth here on Friday as well. By the way, for those of you guys that are here, if you want to find out more information about any of the products in our cases, we do have QR codes on each case giving you a full rundown of what's in there. Pretty cool. It's a new initiative for us. And by the way, if anybody is actually working on collecting the Mars Attacks uh, trading card scavenger hunt, we are one of the locations for that, and you should swing by and grab your card. So with that, let me go on ahead. Another Mars Attacks sign. I'm going to walk on by here. Yeah, it was still, it's early in the setup here at the moment. It's still a little while before the floor opens, so pardon the mess. Moving into the next case of statues, we have our Death Trooper statue coming up. Look at that piece. All of its gory detail. It's just beautiful. How about this one? This is our C6 exclusive Blue Clone Trooper statue. Now, I realized earlier today that I told somebody in Rebel Scum that we are not going to have all of our C6 exclu exclusives on display here. We are, as a matter of fact. The uh, Blue Clone Trooper is one of them. The Orlando, uh, the Lando 12-inch figure is the other one. Those are your C6 exclusives, and that will be the only place you can get them. Uh, this is our White Clone Trooper Deluxe statue, one of his incarnations. It is an ult uber deluxe statue, because take a look. That's the same statue. It comes with interchangeable arms, interchangeable head, all kinds of cool stuff. So, two different ways to clone, or to display your favorite clone. So, with that... Well, what's going to go up here? Nothing we can show yet, but take a look tomorrow when we go on ahead and reveal and announce what's there. We've got our brand new Pilot Droid Mini Bust. I believe this is going to have a sound chip. I don't know what the sound effect is yet, like, uh, but like its two predecessors, it should actually still it should have a sound chip in there. Our Deluxe Reese Mini Bust. This guy has an interchangeable hand, one with blaster, one without. Uh, we just weren't able to display the other hand at this time, but he will be a Deluxe, as uh, promised. Our security droid mini bust, of course. Our PGM exclusive Republic Commando mini bust. Nyanum. The PGM exclusive Rebel Fleet Trooper mini bust. Look at the detail on that guy. Both this and the Rebel Commando, or Republic Commando, both of them just look fantastic. And by the way, the Republic Commando does light up. This is the prototype, so this one actually does not have that functionality built into it, but the finalized one will. Our upcoming W. Wald mini bust. This is a brand new reveal. He's actually going to come uh, spe specially packaged with another piece, so I'll tell you a little bit more about that later. Droopy McCool. 
gorgeous piece. Really fun. And of course, where Droopy goes, Size Noodles follows. Brand new mini bus for y'all, Size Noodles. And then from there, y'all been asking for this one a lot, so I'm very excited to finally get to reveal it. It's Jar Jar Binks. Oh yeah, the Jar Jar Binks mini bust will be here soon. Take a look at that. Enough of that case. Something new, something else new for y'all. The Sand Trooper on Dubac animated maquette. Very exciting, very fun piece. I think it's gorgeous personally. Uh, but then again, I might be a little biased. Our 7-inch Darth Malak statue from the, uh, the Old Republic. Very excited to add this to the 7-inch line. You know, I know you guys have been asking for him a lot, so now we get to show him off. I showed off a, a little bit of a picture of this guy earlier, but this is an animated maquette of the Scout Trooper being attacked by Ewoks. And boy, oh boy, does that look fun. And then right here, this is one of two different styles of AT-AT -AT bookends that we're going to be offering. We don't have the other ones ready to show yet, but they should be around by C6, so hopefully they'll be there. Now into our Marvel case, we have Moon Knight, which everybody's seen before, and now something brand new. Venom. Yeah, baby. The Venom mini bust. Very cool. Here's the Deadpool core. Now, in the box set, we've, well, first off, we've got the Deadpool mini bust, which is a regular release. We've got the Lady Deadpool, which is an AFX exclusive. We do still have some available through our website, too, if you're a Premier Guild member. Um, and also, this is the stuff that comes in the Deadpool core box set. We've got Kid Pool, Squirrel Pool, uh, Head Pool, Dog Pool, and a whole ton of guns that you can put on your Deadpool mini bust. Like, a, that's a load of guns right there. The Hawkeye mini bust is going to be coming out very soon, and we actually want to display him with all of his various arrowheads and accoutrement here for you all to enjoy. And then moving up here is something I'm really, really excited about. Some of the Avengers movie mini busts. We've got the uh, the Hulk Avengers, a uh, very Mar uh, Mark Ruffalo looking Hulk, and then we showed you the concept art a little while ago. But this is the deluxe um, Iron Man mini bust movie mini bust. It's breathtaking, just how awesome this is. It's incredibly shiny. It's gorgeous. It's solid. It's yeah, I I love that piece, and it's going to wind up in my collection. I guarantee you. Um, here we go. You guys have seen the Hawkeye statue before. But now, coming to our line of bookends is Wolverine. Sorry about the announcements there, guys. They are kind of loud. Just give it a second. Like I said, we've got the, uh, we've got the uh, Wolverine bookends here. Bookend. And to go with him, we've got a Venom bookend. This will go... These actually are the same scale and, uh, and can go with your Hulk and Thing bookends as well. So pretty fun. And then we didn't get to show him off last year, but he'll be here this year, is the Ghost Rider statue. This is Ghost Rider right out of the, uh, the Road to Damnation graphic novel. Very, very excited to get to show this piece off finally. Uh, it's a lot of fun. This one also does light up, but unfortunately the prototype uh, here is not uh, set up with that function. So, anyhow, uh, next piece here is something I'm really, really excited about showing y'all. Yeah. Yeah, that's Darth Maul with spider legs. That's Darth Maul with spider legs statue, and it's absolutely humongous. Take a look at that. Take a look at the detail. I gotta give it the 360 treatment because it's just so, honest to God, breathtaking. This is about the scale of the samurai statue. I mean, this is a big puppy, probably about 20 inches or so. Yeah, uh, for those of you that are asking, edition size and price have not been set yet, so don't ask me, but we'll be soliciting them soon. And now, uh, I'm going to show you guys a little something here. They're still in the middle of touching up the last of the case, but I'm going to give you guys a little surprise look at it. This is a first for us that I'm about to show you guys. This is our first crack at our own original line. It's called Honey Trap, and it is awesome. Meet Fireball. Katya. Whisper. Derby. And our last one here is Lucky. These are similar scale to a previous line that we released. 
and they are gorgeous. These are all original. Exhibitors, please do not line up for any merchandise or tickets before the hall opens to the attendees. Any lines forming before the hall opens to the public will be dispersed. Gotta love it when they try that. Anyhow. Yeah, we are right under the speakers, I might add. So this is the honey trap line. And they're just about to cap up the case now. Let me give, just give you a quick look at the booth here. Take a look at where we're at. It's a lot of fun, guys. It's a lot of fun being here. And I tell you right now, I wish you all were here, too. I think this is our biggest and best booth that we've had. I know we're showing off some really fun stuff. Everything's clad in all metal this year. Around the corner here, real quick, here's our neighbors. We've got Weta sharing a back wall with us. And I can't show off the stuff they've got in their cases. They can't even show it off either until later. But this is their setup. Walking Dead's right here. They're getting their photo op ready. And then our buddies at the bridge direct are right oh, next to us as well. Yeah, they can't be showing off too much yet either. But, you know, this is just the little block that we're on. They got Hasbro, Mattel, you know. Oh, they went on and touched up the case while I was walking around. It's pretty awesome. Anyhow, guys, that is, that's it. Um, you know, thank you very much for sticking with me through this tour. Hope you enjoy it. Uh, we still have a couple of pieces that'll be uh, getting displayed tomorrow. Um, you know, and I'll be shooting you a little video update at that time. Okay? Talk to you guys soon. Bye.